Hello, Michael from Car Crazy again, and I've um, got a short video here uh, I want to show you. Then, after that, I'm going to uh, explain what it's about. Okay, you, you're probably wondering what this video was about. Um, well, THK, they're uh, like a, well, a parts manufacturer. They make um, linkages and various parts for cars and etc. Um, like suspension links and such like. Um, well, here they were showing off one of their new suspension systems, as you can see here um, on the screen. Uh, what it is, it's um, it's like the motor. Uh, it's actually that if you see the red piece there on the wheel, that is the motor. Because basically, the the motor is the wheel, if you like, and um, and that's attached to this suspension system, which is all controlled by like a, well, a computer system. Um, what that what that is, it's like an interactive um, system. So. Um, th that car that they've got they're actually testing it has cameras and sensors on it and everything so as the car's going along it senses what the road conditions are like and these suspension units adjust accordingly um, they're basically pumping like uh, fluids to change the, the position the damping the height and all that so when that's going along if the say the front left wheel is going into a bump that will that will probably lift that on up slightly or lower the others to keep the car level. So even if you're going over bumpy roads or going around, you know, corners and things, the car in theory should keep level. And that's what this system was. It's quite interesting actually. I had quite a long chat with one of the engineers of this company. Then he explained it all to me. Um, but it's quite a heavy system. So I asked him about that. I said, well, it looks like quite a heavy, chunky system. I wouldn't think you could put that in a small car. And he said, no, you can't. That's one of the disadvantages. You need a big car, like the one that's on, was on the display there. And um, so, yeah, uh, but they're actually testing this out and doing like track tests and everything, getting all the data. And apparently if that's, um, if it's approved, that will actually be put into cars, road cars very soon. So. It's quite an interesting system though, but yeah, it's all, it's basically all computer controlled and um, it's adjusted according to all the road, different road conditions. So you should better drive along and not feel any bumps. And it's a bit like, um, I remember when I drove a Ford Taurus in America years ago, um, I don't know what they call that, like active suspension or something. Uh, what, when you go around corners, normally when you go around corners, a car, you know, it leans in the corner, but this car didn't, it was flat. You know, it kept dead flat, even when you went around a corner, it didn't lean, it was a really weird sensation, but it was really comfortable. So 
In that sense, that technology is not new, but um, this system is, it's, um, because obviously it's an all electric um, car, all electric system, but um, yeah, so it's quite interesting to see this. Um, but like I say, they are doing tests on it and they hope to actually put this into road cars. So but I don't think you're going to see it in any of the cheap or smaller cars. It's obviously something that's going to just be put into uh, the more bigger, more expensive luxury cars, at least to start with. That's not going to be a cheap system, that's for sure. Um, in fact, if you tell me it isn't, it's going to, it's not going to be cheap. That's another disadvantage of the system. But, um, but yeah, it's uh, that was quite interesting. That. So I just thought I'd share that lot with you. This was at the um, Japan Mobility Show, of course, again last week when we went. Um, yeah. So. Um, that was good to see that, and I think that's some technology that is, um, you know, is is good to to um, develop, you know, and go ahead with. There's a lot of like um, new technologies and ideas that they put in cars or want to put in cars, and some of it is just stupid and rubbish, I think, and not necessary. But I think something like this could could be very good. Um, it's, you know, it's going to give you a very comfortable ride. Um, if the system works okay I suppose but um, if it's computer controlled I suppose there's always a disadvantage if the computer goes down your suspension doesn't work properly or whatever but um, but yeah anyway that, that was that just a short video to show you that and the car itself um, that's a concept obviously I don't know if you noticed in the video the the seats when they were moving sliding they're basically kind of floating they're on a like a rail but they're floating so they they can move backwards and forwards, um, uh, sort of floating as opposed to being on like fixed solid rails. So, uh, yeah, that's quite interesting to see. All right, thank you for watching. Just a short video to show you this. Um, I'll be back with some more videos this week. So, um, ah, if you're new, please do subscribe and um, hit the like button if you liked the video. If you didn't, well, okay. Never mind. <laughs> um, but yes, please do subscribe and uh, then you'll know when I do more uploads. I've still got quite a few videos left from the Japan Mobility uh, show that I want to show you. Oh, while I was there, I actually went and checked out the BYD stand. Um, I wasn't expecting them to be there, actually, because... But um, amazingly enough, the B uh, BYD are actually selling cars in, in Japan. Although I've never seen a dealership or one on the road anyway yet, but um, they have two models out, of an, and a third model coming out next January, I think it is. But but yeah, I went around. Now I was quite surprised by the cars, so I'm going to do a video about that um, just to show you, um, you know, what the what the cars are like really, more than anything. Um, so yeah, that might that might be my next video. I haven't decided yet, but anyway, keep watching and. Uh, and uh, I'll be back soon. Okay, thank you. Bye.